today, we have a guest who has beat the odds when he was in a serious car accident, which left him with years of multiple injuries and surgeries. He has not let that luck go to waste, though. Today, he helps anyone with overwhelm, stress, whether it's emotional or physical pain, and lack of focus to unleash their potential. Please welcome Mark to the show. How are you? Hi, Jillian. How are you doing? Thanks so much for having me here. I appreciate you having me. It's an honor to be here. Thanks a lot. Yes. Well, I'm excited. So I was in a similar situation where I had a car accident that changed my life too, but I'd love to hear about what you were doing professionally before your accident. Well, uh, for about 25 years now, over 25 years, I've been a physical therapist and I've specialized in um, what, what I call orthopedic manual physical therapy. It's like a niche of orthopedic therapy where I do all one-on-one hands-on therapy. Well, about two days after my last graduate school um, clinical rotation, where I finally graduated 25 years ago. Um, I was in a car accident, severe car accident, where um, I was in a friend's car. We turned across traffic, and unfortunately, my car got T-boned right where I was sitting and folded up on top of me. I woke up three days later to find out I was helicoptered to the local trauma hospital and shattered my right leg in about eight places and had rods and pins and screws and plates and had a a bad head wound that they didn't think I was going to make it and had two blood transfusions, fractured my back, um, didn't walk for about six months, was out of work for a year. Um, And, you know, so my first year as a physical therapist, I spent it as a patient. So, um, you know, and I had resultant, although I healed well, and, you know, as per all the doctors and would say, you know, throw the x-rays up there and say, wow, we did a great job and everything's fine and your surgeries are done. And then you end up having chronic pain. And, you know, I was in probably more pain than most of my patients I was treating um, for about seven years after my accident. And, um, and so that's what got me focused on, you know, then really delving into the research of mindset, of personal development, of chronic pain, chronic pain management, everything I could think of. Um, and what it really came down to and what got me out of the cycle of chronic pain was changing my mindset, was changing my focus. And, and um, that allowed me to get to the next level. And it also helped me in my business as well as a physical therapist. I can't even imagine. I always tell people I can um, forecast the weather with my wrist after yes, my surgery. Yes. Uh, I yeah. know that well. Yes. Yeah. yeah that, I mean, that can definitely happen. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, even to come from that to where you are now. How did, I mean, I know you mentioned that you spent the first year as being a patient. How long did it take you after the accident to get back to professional work? Or did you decide, listen, I'm so excited about motivational wellness. I'm going to dive into that. Well, you know, you sometimes it's an epiphany like that. And for me, it wasn't. And I would imagine for a lot of people, it's not as well, depending on what you go through. But I didn't work for about a year, but then I slowly came back to practicing. I luckily was involved with a practice that uh, held my spot for me. And then I started slowly getting back to work first part time and then full time. And it was really after the development of my chronic pain and then going through that and realizing that it was my mindset and the things that I focus on and the clarity I wanted, the clarity I got on my goals that changed the tide for me and went from being having chronic pain to not having chronic pain, that that I started wanting to bring this information out to other people. So in my practice, in my physical therapy practice, and I started my own orthopedic practice in uh, 2003, I started giving wellness lectures to groups of anywhere from 10 to 50 people where I would talk about improving their mindset, improving motivation, improving their focus to help them reach their goals, just like I had done. And so it kind of gave me the credibility and and, uh, validity to be able to speak on this topic rather than just being, you know, a quote unquote, uh, wellness expert as a physical therapist, somebody who had kind of been to the other side and progressed through a lot of dysfunction and a lot of pain. And you realize that when you're in chronic pain, and I think this overflows into your business as well, or whatever business you're working in, when we're having a challenging time, we have a tendency to focus on the problems rather than focusing on getting past the problem. So, and, you know, most, most things you read about, you know, you get more, your brain gives you more back of whatever you focus on most during your day. So if you're focusing on pain and problems, guess what you're going to get more of, you're going to get more pain and problems. But if you focus on solutions, if you focus on wellness, then you're going to get, then you're going to get solutions to the challenges that you now see as challenges rather than seeing them as overwhelming uh, problems, because if you just see overwhelming problems, that's all you're going to get. And you, your brain focuses on just solely the problems. And if you start to break that cycle, and it's not an easy cycle to break in the beginning. And I think as well, not only in my personal development, self-growth side of things, 
But I had a tendency to do that in business as well, because when we're having problems personally, and if we're having problems with pain, that can carry over into our business life. Because we as entrepreneurs, a lot of times, you know, it's hard to separate business and personal as much as we try to. So a lot of our thought processes in our personal lives overflow into our business lives as well. I'm so glad you brought that up because I think that's something that is so important that entrepreneurs work on. Like it's something that you have to consistently work at because you're absolutely right. You can get sucked into focusing on just the problems or those challenging times or the stress, you know, the overwhelm, whatever it might be. Maybe it's all of those. What do you think is the best way for people to overcome their overwhelm and progress forward in their businesses? Well, one of the one of the best ways I think, and one of the things I try to have my clients focus on is 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 getting clarity. You know, one is changing your mindset to to have what I call a proactive positive mindset, and the two is getting clarity on what you want. And and too many of us we just kind of react to the things that are going on. And and just let's say use me as an example, just because I'm a good physical therapist or even a great physical therapist does not mean I'm a great business owner. at at a physical therapy practice. So a lot of times you're so focused, focused, and I know business owners have heard this one before too, you're so focused in the business that you can't work on the business. And so we have a tendency to then, you know, just react to all the fires that are happening in the business. And just we're going through the day, through the day, through the day. And we never necessarily take time to sit down and get clarity on exactly what our, we want our business to be. And for me, that actually ended up having me change my business. So I had a big orthopedic practice that had five therapists. At one point I had up to 20, 22 employees. And then after 11 years, now, you know, I made a good living from my family, but the kind of specialized therapy that I did, did not lend itself to being viable in the managed care world. So I would see two people an hour but in managed care, when you're getting less and less reimbursement per patient per year, what would happen is my high level of therapy, you know, that didn't work under those scenarios. I would have to see four or five, six patients an hour. And I ethically couldn't do that. So when I sat down and got clarity on what I wanted, what I realized what I needed to do was sell my practice the way it was and to go out on my own. And I actually left the practice, started a new practice where it was just solely one-on-one cash-based functional manual therapy that now I do that and have 90% less problems, less stress, and probably the same income. Now, I have a challenge scaling that because it's just me, which is why I've also initiated my Awaken Your Wellness Now brand, which is giving my motivational lectures, my online courses, so that that's the part that I'm scaling now so that I can bring my message of Awaken Your Wellness Now and improving people's mindset, their focus, their motivation. And that's the business that I'm now focusing on scaling. And, and uh, I'm excited about it. It's great. It's I think that, stuff. that, I mean, mindset is huge, but what do you think is the best way for a business owner to gain, to gain that clarity? Is it setting enough, a, enough time aside to have that conversation with yourself? What does that look like to you? Because I think that you're right. There's so many of us that are just trying to put out the fires every day that we forget that we've got to, we've got to make some space here to do that. Yeah. Uh, And I'd say for that, it is taking the time because I think uh, very often we're not um, introspective enough. You know, we, we don't take the time to really sit down and say what we want. Cause a lot of times we're told what our business goals should be, or we just say, okay, I'm in this business. I'm supposed to do this, this, and this, but until we actually sit down and you decide what you want your business to be, how many employees do you want? What do you want your gross to, what, what's your gross income? But gross income is not necessarily what is good because, you know, you got to say, what's your net income? What are you going to have after all the expenses to sit down and say, this is exact, exactly how I see my successful business running. Or this is for my, you know, for patients who are not necessarily in the business side, but this is how I want my life to go. This is what my goals are, whether it's for body, mind, spirit, let's go. This is what my goals are for entrepreneurial. But unless you get down and take the time to sit down and write it out. And the key is really, I always tell people, you have to sit down and write it out because we can say as much as we want to, we could be like, oh yeah, this is what I want, or that's what I want. You know, until you actually specific, specifically write it down in 
goal form, like I want this by this time by doing this, this, and this, then it becomes just really wishes. You know, um, I think it was Napoleon Hill that said, um, uh, goals are just wishes with deadlines. You know, we have, you know, we have to make sure that we sit down and write these uh, specific goals. And the more specific we get and the more clear we are and exactly what we are, that exactly what we want, there lies the, the setting of the goals that will actually then come true if you can then work on it because then you have to you have to once you have the goals down then you have to set out the plans and the actions and the strategies that are going to make that happen because just just writing the goals doesn't make it happen we have to then make the plans out and the strategies that are going to allow that to happen and i think too that sometimes we as entrepreneurs we forget that things can be simple that taking time to write those things out, like putting actual pen to paper is a powerful exercise in itself and can really help you overcome some mindset limitations. Is there anything else besides, you know, clarifying that, taking the time to sit down and write those goals out? Is there anything else that you have seen that really prevents entrepreneurs from reaching their goals? Well, again, one of the biggest things is, is the clarity of goals and clarity of what they want. The other thing is their mindset. As you start to focus on what your goals are, that helps also to flip the switch of your mindset too. Because if you're focusing on goals more, then you're starting to flip that switch from focusing on the problems to focusing on what you want. Because one of the biggest problems I see with chronic pain patients is that they are focusing on their pain and problems. And the struggling business, let's say, you're focusing on your problems and what's going wrong. And then all of a sudden you're like, why can't I make, why can't I make my monthly nut? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Well, instead of focusing on that, because if you focus on those problems, you're just going to keep doing the same things that are, are keeping you in that, what I call the negative mindset loop. And as Einstein would say, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. But yet as business people and personally, we do that all the time. We are creatures of habit. So we do, what do they say? We have 60 to sixty to 80,000 thoughts a day and 80% of them can be negative. And we repeat ourselves from day to day. Yesterday, we have these thoughts. Today, we're going to have a tendency to have the, the same thoughts. So for us to break that cycle, we need to focus on then the solutions to our challenges rather than focusing on the problems. I have this little trick. It's a little quick thing to get out of stress and overwhelm because we were, always have a tendency to be in this bad cycle and say, oh my God, I've got so much to do. What do I do? I call it the 4M method where you say you make make it make the choice, which is not make a choice, make the choice to take control and take action. Then it's make a list and you make a list into things that need to be done today, things that can be put off till tomorrow, but things that need to be done, okay? Then you make a plan for how you're going to get those things done for that day or the next day and the next week, and then make a schedule because if you don't schedule it, it's not going to happen. So that a lot of times is what I feel at, you know, the quick things that people can do to get out of that. It's getting clarity on what you want, focusing on a positive mindset to, to really um, focus on solutions to challenges rather than problems and actually taking action to after you've set in those goals to figure out how you're going to plan out to do it and how you're going to schedule that. And I love how easy that is because you're right. When you're like overwhelmed, you're like, ah, there's so much stuff going on. Uh, yeah. That's so easy to remember and just be like, okay, right, right, right. refocus. What, what are the answers to those questions? Mm -hmm. Now, one other thing that I love to ask everyone who is on my podcast is what is one piece of advice to a small business owner that you would give them that you've learned throughout your business career, your speaking, like what is one thing that you're like, people need to know this. I'm going to say one sentence with two things. So I'm going to okay. cheat a little bit. Okay. Okay. It's, it's have it a, have a positive mindset and get clarity. So those two things, if you can have a positive mindset and get clarity on what you want, that almost takes care of everything else. And when I say get clarity, you got to sit down and, and write it down because take the time. It could just be an hour or two. It could be a half a day. But as a business owner, I know how precious that time is. But we all have time. If we really want to do it, we can schedule it in. So schedule in that time to really get focused on exactly what you want because it makes all the difference in the world. One of my, my quotes I kind of developed a couple of years ago was awaken your mind and see clearly the path that leads to the accomplishment of your goals. It's working on your mind that allows you to, to see that path, to get that clarity on what you want. And that will help you reach the goals that you're trying to reach. I love that. Now, if our listeners, you have this amazing course, 
Awaken Your Wellness Now. Where can people find out more about that? I know you have a blog. Where Where is all that stuff kept at? Right. So if you if you kind of anything I said today resonates with you, people can go to my website and they go to uh, awakenyourwellnessnow.com backslash free hyphen video hyphen course, you know, and then they can get sign up for my free video course. They can find my Facebook page at Awaken Your Wellness Now on Instagram on Mark Marino PT, um, or they can go to my blog at awakenyourwellnessnow.com backslash blog. And, and I, I put out a weekly blog on all things motivational, motivation, mindset, focus, helping people really reach their goals and, um, you know, uh, by focusing on those things. I love that. Well, and I'll be sure to link everything in the show notes too. So people have a quick reference. So that way they can Great. find out where to sign up for your video course. Thank you again Great. so much for being here. I know you're very busy, but I appreciate you carving out the time to visit with me. 